the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Christy Stewart. Ian's remnants are working their way back into the region, so we'll continue to see more scattered rain showers and winds picking up as we head throughout the night tonight. Temperatures stay pretty steady out there for tonight into tomorrow. Those temperatures right around that 60 degree mark. Again, it's going to be getting wet, windy, and we're going to be seeing some very bad tidal flooding. We're looking at having flood levels for Monday high tide 4 a.m., similar to what we saw on Friday. Now check out Monday 4 p.m., 6.9 feet. That it is major tidal flooding. This will likely be a little bit worse than we saw with Hurricane Sandy. So make sure that you take whatever precautions you need, especially if you're in low lying areas. I know we have a number of garages that are open if you need to move your car to higher ground. We're going to be still seeing some pretty bad flooding out there Tuesday 4 a.m. during high tide. By the way, between those and low tide, uh, it's still about a foot and a half of inundation there. So still seeing roadways covered in flood waters. And then as we get into Tuesday 5 p.m. still looking at having moderate tidal flooding as we get into Wednesday still looking at about five and a half feet for those tide levels. Eventually after that we'll see these tide levels starting to recede for us. It's also very rough on the water five to nine feet waves in the Chesapeake Bay in the Atlantic Ocean 12 to 15 feet waves. So it's just recommended to avoid the water as we head throughout the next couple of days as Ian's remnants do continue to impact us. Eventually we dry out Wednesday again still staying with some stronger northerly winds though. Then we see lots of sunshine as we head into the second half of the work week into the weekend. We'll warm up eventually to the upper 70s by Friday. A dry cold front cools us down into those mid 60s by next weekend.